Hello, darlings. Let's head into the Walmart here in Greenville, Tennessee for a little after work toy hunting adventure. As I usually say, let's go in and see what's on the shelves. Just because we like to keep it sexy here on the Man Collects, we're going to start in the back of the toy aisle again because we normally start with Transformers. America Nightmare Cody Row. Actually, right there he is, too. <laughs> Series 101. I thought he had one in 103. Oh, I guess not. Cody Rhodes. That is restock, though. There's, I just learned there's a chase of Austin Theory. I don't remember who found it. I think it was Collecting Havoc who pointed it out. I was not aware there was a chase of that. So we'll be looking for that chase. I'm not going to buy it, but I like to find it. Oh, that's cool. Ricochet. What's he got there? Is it the IC belt now? I'm not, I like the classic IC belt. Uh, I looked through these already. Papa Shango, Million Dollar Man. None of them up there. Um, got some scrap iron through in there. Some other stuff. We're not going to mess with that because it looks like it might come tumbling down. There's Lady J hanging out down there. Roman Reigns. Maybe got a little something, little something, something going on. Who knows? Ah, oh, the late Bray Wyatt. Um, there's Mr. America. They must have got a case of 101 in. I consider buying this one before. Look at the eyes on that thing. <laughs> Gotta love the Hulkster. Ah, that's tempting. I'm not gonna lie. Where are these things? 20, oh, 23 bucks? That was close. <laughs> Let's knock that off. Y'all see that? I caught it and it was awesome. Who's this? There's the rock with the guitar. Um, Sami Zayn. I gotta tell you, um, wrestling figures are something I'm close to starting to buy. Mandos. No, I can't pronounce that. Cad Bane. And what do we got over here? We got some rock and rolls. Second time I've seen him on shelves today. somebody finally got that crimson guard he was hidden here in the electronics section back in collectors and they found him and brought him here and now he's gone <laughs> what else we got here lady j oh wait no <laughs> there he is somebody's still trying to hide that guard from Okay, we'll return. Okay, we're back. But like I was saying, someone stuck him in the back there now, the Crimson Guard. So still got one here at the Greenville Walmart because I've already got all I want of that figure. Hoping to find some of the classify, the number 50 there. I see it hitting some ollies. That would be cool to see. Right, some Star Wars. These all going to be Boba Fett. They are. Luke and grow goose. Those are paid more at Walmarts and Targets. Uh, a bunch of Crusader Batmobiles. Dungeons and Dragons. Micro Galaxy Squadron. Uh, so got some superpowers up top. Don't know how many stuff back in there. And looks like mostly old ones. Night Wings. Green Lantern. Yeah. My buddy gonna talk to me? Nope. His batteries are dead. Duke Thomas. A lot of them. Uh, infected Batman. That's a cool one. I think said uh, somebody put on Instagram. I think it was my buddy Dave. These things are like eleven dollars on Insta on Amazon right now. The so John Kent Grifter, uh, Black Adam, Big Figs. I have dug through these the last couple of times. While they do have a lot of them, I did not see a Batgirl unless they put some more out. And I hate not to look. Because when I know they probably don't have it. Oh, I just killed something over there. The one time I don't look will be the one time that they had it. And I don't want to miss it. I'm making a mess. I will clean this up after I turn the camera off. <laughs> but for now, we get them out of the floor. Alright. We'll pick those up in just a second. One of those T-Rex Spider-Man things, X-Men 97. Um, nothing else really on 
video game stuff, some older legends, big fig X. I saw a Cyclops down there on top of the Black Adam figs, but I don't see any more. Here's some oh, movie turtles, Donatello and Mikey movie star. That might be the first time I've seen them here. I can't remember. There's another one. Who's he got here? Leo. So they got them all at Raph. They stocked the turtles. They only had, I think, this wing nut and screw loop. They, yeah, they had two of these last time I was here. And have Genghis for the movie turtles that I can remember, anyways. Uh, what do we got on down through here? Mutant Mayhems. They still got this. I guess we're still 2397, those monster mixed drunk things. They got them up there, the Falcon, or I guess, the, yeah, the Captain America, Sam Wilson. I'm rambling on, but anyways. Here's that. All right, so we are going to check this end cap of Hot Wheels to see if they might have that five pack of the Race Team 55th. I want to take a look at those things. Um, or look down the Lego aisle, spoiler alert. The only thing they had was the Batman poly bag. They do have some of those left. But anyways, we're going to look for the Hot Wheels right here. Then we're going to go check collectors. See anything in either one of them, I'll show them to you. If not, well, I'll see you at the next. Hey, Braun, that's kind of cool looking. I just noticed that. I was getting ready to shut off here. Cliff Jumper. Boomerby. Okay, yeah, that's pretty cool. Sorry. If GameStop has new figures, I'll be happy. Let's go see. Well, I think my little song might have paid off because already I can see they've got Ultimo Dragon. This is pretty cool. I love this guy in WCW. That is tempting to pick up. They got some other McFarlane there too, as you see. Vampiro. Um, he, he ho del Pero. I can't pronounce it. I'm very sorry. Oh, and they got the Black Taurus. That one's cool looking. Let's just look at these. Vampiro we saw last time. Here is this guy, and I'm very sorry I can't pronounce the name. There is the name. And is there anybody they're missing? No, they got them all. They got the whole wave. And there is Black Taurus. That is cool. I see JB's toy trunk picked him up to be the bouncer. His diorama he has set up. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Let's slide these back and let's take a look at what McFarlane's we got. I uh, grabbed this here a couple weeks ago. That's Superman, second time seeing it. Oh, right there, though, that's the one. If it didn't have a little ding in the corner, I'd probably pick it up and cancel my pre-order. We got this guy ordered from Amazon. It just hasn't came in yet. Is this one $19, too? I think it is. I'll look at the art on the back. That's cool. That is cool to see that in store. Once again, GameStop bringing the fire. They got those Jumanji Movie Maniac things too. I'll check those out on the front side. This is an awesome figure. I got this in. This is actually in really good shape. The hanger's a little bit bent, but not much. That is awesome. Ah, at least I wish I didn't already have it. Uh, Wonder Woman, Hot Man, still got some Blackest Night. Donna Troy, Nightwing, and Raven. The deceased figures, fourteen ninety-eight. I don't know if that's a good price for them or not. Um, we got a Commando Spawn. Oh, what do we got down here? Carapax and a Pose Beetle. Still got that Joker. Um, let's just make sure. I don't think they've got Owen oh, Hart. I don't see him. And then out here for some more heat, we've got Secret Invasion. Got Talos. That's pretty cool to see. Who's in this one? Gamora, Warrior, Gamora, Nick Fury. So they've got Goliath. They've got Talos. And who else they got back here? Oh, it's War Machine. Okay, that was the new wave. So yeah, a couple of new Marvel Legends. We're going to take some pictures in here. Oh, this I would like to have. How much is this thing? I think it was eight, yeah, seventy-eight dollars. We'll have to wait on that one. Got some Spider-Man retro cars at Ben Rally and 
Um, Miles Morales. There's the Jumanji figures. You know, I know they have a rivalry when I saying it's to be cute. He kind of looks like Ben Diesel there. I got some Halo stuff. Still got 1198 Casey. Got some Lantern, Shazam. That Flash is pretty cool. Anything new here? Nah, it's the same ones I've been having. And what do we got over here? Still got, oh, it's Sam and Twitch. They, got, they finally sold all the Gunslinger Spawn, the horse, but yeah. Got some new McFarlane here. New Legends. Well, let's just check what they might have on clearance. If it's anything worth a flip. Or anything we're looking for. I don't need to word it so negatively. Um, so I got those Mega Figs on sale. Most of the multiverse here. Oh, that's cool. 148 bucks. That's pretty cool there. But I want to get two free on the clearance. Oh, we might have to go through this a little bit finer tooth comb, guys. But um, I'm going to shut down recording now and see what else we can find. If I do see anything else, I'll show it to you. And if I don't, I'll see you at the next. Walmart. Last time we were at this one, we found the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Part 2 NECA figures. So let's go in here, see what we can find this time. Well, well, well toy section. Let's see what we can find. Um, we've got the K5. Nope. That must have been, I don't know if that was here or Abingdon. It must have been Abingdon that had that thing. What else do we see in here? There's a Transformer Studio Series. Braun. I think I saw that one yesterday. Maybe Target. I don't remember. Oh, we got to hit Target this morning. Starting to see on some Facebook groups and whatnot that those Avengers white box sets are starting to hit clearance. Well, the Hot Wheels and diecast is kind of slim in here this morning. That's a little over a minute. We've already went through them all. Um, nothing there. Yep, we're going to try to get down the main action figure aisle now and see what they got. So, I will be right back. Transformers. What have we got? Got this little Studio Series Bumblebees. Uh, still got a star screen there. Don't see a coronation. And actually, checking my Ollie stores, looks like Coronation Star Scream is selling pretty good in Ollie's. It is just fifteen dollars. Uh, one thing we've got out here, we're gonna kind of look at. Look there, they got some stock boxes. Diecast aisle is kind of disappointing. Let's see what we got here on the main toy. Storage shelves. Got some movie turtles and all kinds of those hulks. Um, Marvel plushies. Got the little Spider-Man figures. Who we got here? Venom, Spidey, or Miles. Venom, Spidey, Miles, and Iron Spider. We got some old legends. We still got some Puff Adder. Wonder Man. Oh, that Strucker figure. I really wanted that Strucker figure. But not for full price. Fingers crossed. We see those oldies eventually. X Men '97 stuff. They had the big Wolverine. I don't see. Yeah, no, I don't see him. They do have the mask though, and the little figures. There's Wolverine, Cyclops, and they got a Rogue. Rogue. Yep, they got all three. Okay, I gotta fix this. This is bothering me. Whoever does their planograms for their stuff anymore does not allow for proper spacing in between the pegs. Ooh, looky here. I've seen this thing a whole lot more than I thought it would. Nightfall, there's a bat wing. Another Thomas and another bat wing. Is that, okay, no. We're just gonna slide these out. 
I don't know if I need this as a thumbnail. I found some better ones at GameStop, but we'll just make that the broad shot. There we go. What else we got? And spoiler alert, I already, I didn't see Nightfall, but I already dug through those page punchers. I wasn't able to film when I first started down the aisle. So I wanted to look just to make sure they didn't have Batgirl, and they don't. Uh, who we got here? Mon Mothma, HK, and John Cassian and There's Mr. Lando. That all they've got. Yep, Lando's. Oh, I got some AEW up there. Neither one of those are Owen Hart. I haven't seen that Owen Hart yet. I think it's got the blue. It looks like this. Is it a Walmart exclusive? I can't remember if I see anybody find that thing at Target or not. The WWE Ultimates. That's Scrap Iron. There's our superstars figure. Ooh, I see they got some uh, rock and rolls. These seems to have gotten a restock everywhere. But I'm gonna have to check out for a second and I'll be right back. We're back. We got Miz down here. Saw him. There's the rock with his guitar. What's in the guitar case? My guitar. Have you ever seen Desperado? I haven't seen the Miz and MVP in a while. I see the rock about everywhere. Oh, what else we got? Oh, is that the... That's the Chase one, isn't it? Ha! Huh. That's pretty cool. I think that's the Chase. I think that one's got lighter blue on him. So we did find that, I think. I want to take a picture of that. And look it up online. Just to see if that is the Chase. Anybody knows, let me know in the comments, but unless I forget, I probably would have looked it up by the time I posted this video. Uh, all these rock and roll. Yep. Have we got any snake eyes or... Oh, we got a bunch of carded ones up here. This is Destro. Um... Okay, oh, well, there's some superstars there too, but it looks like old ones. Million Dollar Man, Bray Wyatt, Mick Foley, $25 Bowser, they are on clearance here. Oh, and they have Vampire Superman in the clearance section, you know, on clearance for $19.97, which is retail. <laughs> I don't see anything sticking out in Lego. We'll see if they still got the Marvel minifigures. And we got to check collector's section, of course. Pokemon. Well, we got Five Nights at Freddy. Let's just take a look at that. Look at this thing. Toy Chica and Nightmare Chica. Is that all that? Foxies. Tie-dyed Bonnie. Man, they got a lot of these. The same figure, but they got a lot of them. Poppy Playtime, Minecraft. Uh, the Among Us guys. I never did buy these little dudes, but they're still a possibility. I got the glow in the dark one. I don't know. They just cracked me up. There's the wanger shaped things from Minecraft. Oh, this thing's pretty cool too. Five Nights at Freddy's. Funko Snaps. <laughs> Alright, let's take one more little scan here. Just to make sure. I can't believe I walked right past Nightfall Batman. I'll admit, I saw Nightwing hanging there. I didn't even see Batman. I was mostly focused on what was down there. But Aquaman page punchers, and they got Batman, Mr. Freeze, and those. This thing I still want to pick up eventually, but I got a feeling it'll be clearance one day. I still got my buddy in the Crusader Batmobile, but I don't know about Batwing. I still haven't decided if I'm going to pick him up. In Nightfall, I've got all I need of Nightfall Batman. But, yeah, let's walk back here and see if the Lego minifigs are still here. And then we'll make our way to um, collectibles, collectors, collectibles, whatever. I don't have anything stuck back. What's that over there? Oh, I saw some turtles and stuff. That's not anything we want to look at. Oh, nope, they're gone. They must have sold them out. That's where they were. 
All right, we're gonna head across the wall there. We're gonna get run and go and jump over that and go and check out collectibles. Holy crap, they've got a restock. They've got all four turtles again for Secret of the Ooze. I guess as you're gonna start getting a lot of Walmarts, I don't know. There's Leo and Raph. And then we've got Mikey and Donnie, Secret of the Ooze two packs once again here at Bristol. I look for those stock boxes. All I can say is this Walmart is getting ready to have an enormous stock of Barbie and Trolls figures because that's pretty much what all those boxes were. Uh, not much else. They got that Shredder, Super Shredder there, Secret of the Ooze. So Secret of the Ooze well represented here at this Walmart. And all these two packs are in very good shape. The Splinter and Shredder there, then Hamato Yoshi and Rokosaki. And those two out there, are, you can tell they just put them out as long ago. So yeah small collector section but the last couple times i've hit in here secret of the used two packs we're going to take a picture of that i already used them for a thumbnail but you know i still want to take a picture of them but if i do see anything else in this store my way out of here i will film it for you if i don't then i'll see you at the next one all right we are back at walmart in avenue virginia and that's too bad that's not opened up but anyways we're gonna go in here and see what we can find this place has been pretty good lately it has some cool stuff let's go see what's in the shelves well, the music in here is blaringly loud. If it comes through in the video, it may end up doing a voiceover, but this toy hunt is already a success because my wife said she needed toothpaste and she wanted close-up. She told me that close-up was hard to find, therefore challenging the man collects and <laughs> found it easy. Not only am I the world's greatest toy hunter and the world's greatest toothpaste finder. Um, I got a hairbrush for Luke too. Got a JBL there, I see his hat. And a couple of edge. Oh, let's we'll squat down here. We got three Rey Mysterio Ultimates. Anything else laying back here? Nope. We walked through the clearance off and come back here. Only thing they had is X-Men um, Legends. The Siren they had her for 10 bucks. I took a picture of that. I may have put it on the screen by now. For as much effort I put into this, it's going to depend on how much um, I have to go back into a voiceover or not. Because that music, that music is loud. <laughs> what else we got over here? Dan Casiolando. I don't think there's anything different. So I've got some Landos there and Han. Another Lando. Boba Fett. Princess Leia. Oh, we got up top. Is that garbage trucks and the Ninja Turtles? Is that Dungeons and Dragons? Okay. Um, got Robin and Mark down to 688. I'm surprised the Flash figures haven't got marked down yet. What have they got? In these? There's a Wolverine X Men figure. Put that back where it goes. There we go. Give you a preview we're getting ready to see. Ooh. Uh, well, I got rolled back here. Robin Batman. Never can tell they have something cool in here, like Solomon Grundy or something. Batgirl, Batman, Batman, Batman. You know, people want to complain that McFarlane makes too many Batman figures. Um, excuse me. <laughs> Looks like Spin Master. Ooh, they do have Solomon Grundy. That's a beefy little dude right there. What else I got? Red Hood, another Grundy. Hmm, I'm kind of tempted to get some of Grundy, I'm not gonna lie. 688. Let's get my toothpaste and my hairbrush. I may just leave that there. Hopefully, nobody grabs that. That way, I can look through things. What we got up there? Deathstroke, some of those big Titan figs. Any new superpowers? No. Got yeah, this thing will be purchased one day. I see Donna, Troy, and Raven. Let's see who else they got here. Let's cheat, move that. Nightwing, Black Adam, Mike Manta, my bad. They still got the Black Adam, black and white version back in clearance for $12. All right, let's fix these back the way they were. There we go. Toothpaste and stuff. Okay, that's the last tube of close up they have in this store, so gotta protect that with my life. Um, 
Those are older superpowers. I got the Flash there still. There's a future state Batman. That Flash, I gotta say, out of superpower figures, he's been my favorite I've gotten so far. Oh, he just looks cool. Armored from Dark Knight Return. There's an armor from Kingdom Come. A page puncher Superman got moved up there. He was on the shelf. And then nothing else up there. I'm gonna turn back around. We're getting a little bit far down here. What have we got? Dinos, Supermobiles, Batwings. What have we got here on the racks? We got Duke Thomas, Future State. There's a Captain Adam. We got both gold labels. Grifter and Armored Batman, Superman, a couple of Dark Flash. They finally sold Batfleck. Unless he's stuck up here somewhere, I haven't found yet. You still got that big stack of Nightwings and Raven up there. Let's just see in the top here while we're doing this. Okay. Oh, we got little stuffed dinosaurs. Um, other dinosaurs, X Men figures. Stacks and stacks of Fortnite. Oh, they still got Strucker. We're gonna scan that just to make sure it is not cleansed. He who remains up wonder. I kinda of wanted that. I don't, I don't know. We'll wait and see what happens with Ollie's. Who they got here? Wolverine, Cyclops, no rogue. She's gone rogue. <laughs> Those mech strike things there will be clearance one of these days. Are they already marked down the Hulk? Oh, he's on the wrong peg. Turtles. Um, just to make sure. Nope. All right. Over here. The usual complement of video game stuff. Has some stacks of Pokemon on the other side of the pool there. There's Samus. Link and Zelda. Oh, we got Zelda. Okay, Link and Zelda. <laughs> Samus. Ah. This whole series right there is very tempting to buy. I didn't make it to the Transformer. Somebody's going through those, but they don't have anything different. Okay, who have we got in GI Joe's today? We got some Snake Eyes. And we just missed the Target has got their clearance going on. I've scored all kinds of cool stuff at Target. You'll see that in the hall. I recorded a video in there, but I was in full-blown hunter mode, and the video kind of shot in there. It kind of sucks. Most as I wasn't paying attention to what my camera was pointing at. <laughs> but anyways, they had um, scrap iron down to $22. They had all those Avengers 60th sets. You know, all those were there except for Captain Marvel and Doctor Doom. They already sold those, but... All right, let's get my toothpaste and my hairbrush, and let's go over and check out Lego and Diecast. All right, let's let this pink Corvette hold my stuff for me. One thing it said, I'm pretty sure it's his where I saw that K5 Blazer. And it's gone. We should have got it when we saw it, though. That's my fault. Looney Tune car is pretty cool. Marvin Martian. What else we got? I just realized going down the action figure aisle, I went against the advice my wife gave me. She told me on every aisle I go down to make sure I pick something up and look at it. But in my defense, I didn't really see anything we hadn't sold, sold, we hadn't saw before. I showed the toothpaste, that counts, right? Um, I think they got a pretty good stock of die casts. Now I'm gonna look at these, these little things. Uh, someone has sent me a link. I think you can order the track for these online. They're kind of cool. For five bucks. You know all they make, there's four, all four turtles, I'm guessing. That's Leo, there's Mikey. Donnie, have they got Raph? Is that Raph? Nope, that's Mikey. They don't have Raph. What's Raph driving? I guess he's driving the taxi taxi cab. Hmm. Oh, I just see. The, ooh, look out there. What is? Oh, we can't see because the old guy walking by. There's some stock boxes out there. Oh, now this is kind of cool. A FedEx truck. Man, I see enough of those pull up to the office and I realize, oh my lord, you did order that. It's in. It's here. We're actually stocking the toys right now. Hmm. I'm going to have to go walk back through the toy section. I saw a lady walking over there. I didn't put two and two together that she's stocking. 
What is that? That's kind of cool. The Mazda. They have fully stocked the Hot Wheels, that's for sure. I don't know if I can do this without messing them up. I do like when they move the toy section. They fix these pegs where I can pull them back and look. And they didn't do it just for me, but it's nice now that you can do this. <laughs> Hot trucks, what's that look like? Oh, that's kind of cool. Power panel. Okay, she stepped away. What have we got over there? I see some Legos. Uh, there's some Mattel. I wonder what that is. That's a good size box. A Jurassic World. I can see that on there. Yep. All right. This is kind of cool. What's this one? Corvette. All right, guys. I am stalling here trying to look at these boxes. We're going to go check them out. If I do see anything, I'll show it to you. If not, no, I'm sorry. We're going to look at Lego first. So let's go get my hairbrush and my toothpaste, which is still here. We'll just walk over to the Lego aisle. Here's these things, roll back 50 bucks. Some of those masks, Uno, I don't see the Lego minifigures, and I'm not gonna go looking for them. I've already got my set. I still need to record a video of putting them together. I keep saying I want to do Lego stuff and I'm slacking. Slacking. Uh, oh, they got the Hogwarts, that little, what is it, $170, oh my lord, that thing is pretty cool though, I'm going to take a picture of that, I don't know if my picture took, there we go, I thought getting that for Kelly, I didn't get her the big one when it was out, but that one would be more space efficient, what else we got here, anything else different, I don't think they had that last time I was here, if they did, I completely overlooked it. I got the parakeet down to 16 bucks. Is that actually him? Yep. I like to have the rabbit. He's pretty cool. What else we got? Uh, that creator 3-in-1 space roller coaster thing. I like that as well. Ah, they got the GT. Target sold out of the other Mustangs. My temptation's gone for a while. And even though I don't collect Star Wars, I do like these little Lego mechs. Those will probably come home with me eventually. And I still don't have any of the new um, Speed Champions wave. I can't remember what came out. I think this is part of the last wave. I have to look, look it up now. I can't remember. But let's just stock these boxes a little more. Jurassic World. Eh, I'll go check those out. If I see anything, I'll record it and show it to you. If I don't, I'll see you in collectors. If I don't find anything there, well, I'll see you the next. Hello, everyone. My name is Chris. You're watching my YouTube channel called The Man Collects, and we're here in my little nerd kingdom man cave building thing to wrap up another toy hunt video, my end of the week toy hunt video, showing you my exploits from throughout the week here on Friday on YouTube. Thank you for joining me. I hope you've made it this far. Thank you for watching. Hope you can put up with me for a few more minutes as we go over what we saw and what we picked up. Uh, all my pickups came from a store you did not see me in the video. That was a Target in Bristol, Virginia. They had all the good clearance going on. We picked up several clearance items. To let you know, I tried to film in that store to have some content to show. because I got excited finding all that clearance stuff, but um, I, I failed you. I, I did a crappy job filming. Uh, I'll give away one of my pickups here. Let's say I found this Electra figure and I got it off the shelf and I was looking at it and I was excited talking about it being $12.49 while well, I was holding my camera like here, but I wasn't filming Electra. I was filming out from it. So everything I was talking about pulling off a shelf where I wasn't looking through my camera at it, I didn't get good camera angles of anything. So whatever I was talking about was not what came through on camera, so I did not show the footage, but hey, everything I found that was cool that I did film, I've got it here in front of me, so we're gonna look at it eventually here, but and we did pick up the Electra Daredevil, so glad to find that thing. Long game paid off. But anyways, again, the stores you did see me in this video were is the Greenville Walmart. That Walmart's kind of fallen off for the last little while. They're not been getting a lot of restocks in lately. Hope, but it's, it's gonna turn around. We're gonna push that positive energy out into the collector space and that Walmart's going to have a turnaround here. I can feel it coming. I think we're going to find Vampire Green Lantern there just to keep rambling on for a little bit. But what we did see there this time, not really a whole lot new. All the Walmarts had a restock on Rock and Roll from G.I. Joe Classifieds that I went to in this video. 
And then that one had the retro carded Crimson Guard. I still have one of those there. That might be the same one that was hidden in the collectibles, and now it's hidden behind all those figures on the peg. So if somebody is hiding that figure and you watch this video, I hope that you get the thing. You've put a lot of effort in trying to keep that thing on the shelf there until you can afford it. So I hope that you get it. I didn't pick it up, so hopefully it's still there for you. Uh, GameStop, Bristol, Virginia, that was the hitter store of this video, in my opinion. Those Lucha Libre figures, they had the Black Taurus figure, which looks awesome in person. They had Ultimo Dragon, which I was really tempted to buy, but we're not going to get into wrestling figures. And the only ones I buy are these little Superstars line here. I do enjoy these, but we're not going to get into buying a bunch of wrestling lines. But it was cool to see his figure there, because he was one of my favorite wrestlers in the mid and late 90s, so there in WCW. And the Cruiserweight, I think he actually got him to like the United States, uh, I think, title to a picture there at one time. But again, really enjoyed his work. Glad to see his figure. And those figures look really good. And I, I don't think those are made through WWE. I don't think so. Somebody knows, let me know. But the car and stuff looks nothing like the WWE figures. But uh, it's cool to see those. And different characters you don't see in the WWE line, if they are made from someone different. Uh, but the hitters in that store, you know me, I'm partial to McFarlane, as you can tell from the immenseness behind me here and stuff over there that you can't see. This is a continuation of the McFarlane DC multiverse. But Hush Superman, we saw it up there again in the GameStop. But we saw the Tim Drake Robin, first time seeing it in a retail store. And then the coolest one they had was that uh, classic Riddler figure. I would have picked up the Riddler, but I've got it pre-ordered through Amazon. The one there in GameStop, it was damaged a little bit on the top corner. I'm hoping the one I get is in better shape. It is Amazon, so we're rolling the dice, but hopefully it comes in better shape. And I got a feeling we'll see that figure again. So if it does come in in bad shape, we can always pick up another one down the road, I hope. Uh, the next place you saw me in was also a very good store. It was probably, if GameStop was here in the picking order, that Bristol, Tennessee, Walmart probably slid in right there. But the stuff we saw in the Tennessee Walmart there, we, uh, we had seen it in other places, the Bristol, Tennessee, Walmart. But... We did see the McFarlane there as well. We saw Nightfall Batman. That figure has been more prevalent and more available than I thought it would be. And I found that thing several times so far. I thought that would be really, really hard. I thought it'd be harder to find than Hush Batman was. But so far, it's not been that bad. But uh, we did see, I think they have one or two of those. I don't remember. But they at least had one there in that store. But they also have Batwing and a couple of that one there. That's the only place I found that figure in good shape. But I did want to buy him. But I have not yet pulled the trigger on Batwing. Also, you didn't see it on camera, but I did find Two Faces Batman in that store as well. If someone had it hidden, I did film the section I found, and I may put a picture of him up here just to show that I did find him in the store there, but uh, if I didn't, overlook me pointing. But anyways, um, I didn't want to give away this person's hiding spot. They might watch this video. Somebody else might watch it and run straight down there and grab that figure. And again, I've hidden stuff in stores before. I think it's something we've all probably done at some point. You know, so I don't want to give away somebody's hiding spot, but hey, if you're watching this video, I found your hiding spot. I'll try to refrain from checking it when I go in that store, but no promises. But anyways, we did find that there hidden in the store uh, as far as that goes. But the hitter for that store for me was finding those NECA uh, Secret of the Ooze Turtle 2-Packs again. I bought those I found there last time. They had restocked those. They had uh, all, all four turtles, the two 2-Packs two there. So who comes in those 2-Packs? I'm looking at mine here. You got Raph and Leo and then Mikey and Donnie. But they had those there. They were in really good shape. I'm surprised to see those. I haven't seen those in retail stores before. Uh, I hope we get Toka and Razor. I would love to find them at retail. I've seen them at some shows, but they're, you know, reach about 125, 150 bucks a set. I'd like to find them at retail if I could. That would be awesome. But we'll keep checking for those. And I'll be hitting that Walmart every week. It's been a hitter the last few times that I've been there. So hopefully that will continue. We might find some more cool stuff there. Uh, last store of the video, the Abbott Virginia Walmart. And again, they had a lot of good stuff there. Nothing we were really looking for. The only thing I saw a restock on there was Rock and Roll from G.I. Joe Classified. So last time we were in that store, we found those old Spider-Man Marvel Legends for $4.50 a piece. So we didn't find anything that good this time. But still, they had a good stock of stuff there. It's not anything we're really looking for at the current moment. That being said, let's get to the haul portion. And the only stuff I bought this week was stuff that you didn't see in the video. I've already showed you the Lady Daredevil. I really wanted this figure. That thing looks awesome. We long gamed it. It paid off. We got it for $12.50 at the Bristol Target. Um, I did go back in that Target today, and uh, there was a guy that owns a collectible shop. He was in there buying up pretty much all the clearance. But there was still some stuff left when I left out of there if he didn't go back and get the rest of it. But... Again, a lot of it has went off the shelf. They do still have a few items left. But let's get into the, the only Avengers 2-pack they have left. And this is one I bought that I didn't really want. I just kind of got caught up in the excitement of the clearance and picked it up. 
but the Super Scroll and the Scroll Queen, uh, they still had about four of these left when I was in there today. And today, for me right now, is uh, September the 21st. Uh, they still had them in there as of the you know 21st. Um, don't know how long they'll last, but they did have like 10 of these in there. They only, I think they had four of them left today when I was in there. But again, the Super Scroll is pretty cool. I never paid a lot of attention to these. I didn't know you could make the actual Spider Woman. I thought the only option you had was the Scroll Queen there. So that, that's pretty cool. I'll probably crack this little set open and uh, put it on the shelf or something somewhere, pose it with some other Marvel Legends. But again, it was half price. I got caught up in the hysteria of the moment and picked that one up. Uh, okay, going up the list of the ones that I wanted and liked the most as far as my, I guess, number, let's see, well, Daredevil should have been higher than that. I showed her first. She wasn't a two-pack, so we'll go through these box sets next, but the next one on my list was the Grey Hulk and Dr. Banner two-pack. They only have one of these left, so I got the last one the Bristol Target had when I picked these up there. I've had my eye on this one as well since the set was introduced, and I like that Grey Hulk. I've heard a lot of people online talking about not liking the, the gray Hulk, the, the, ver the gray version of the Hulk, but I think it looks pretty cool from the box art. Um, I don't know if I'll open this one. This one might stay in box. It's in really good shape, so I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but glad to pick this one up as well. And again, it was the last one they had. All right, now my top two pickups from this video uh, for these box sets. Uh, this one I was really excited to get. They had like five of these when I was there on Monday before they put the, the clearance price on it. Only had one when I went back yesterday to get these on clearance. But we got Hawkeye with the Sky Cycle. Classic Hawkeye. I love that version of Hawkeye. I'm a, I was a big fan of Avengers West Coast for, for whatever reason when I was a kid. So glad to pick this up. Also, back to Super Nintendo. If anybody played Captain America and the Avengers, you know they had the flying levels on that game. The characters who couldn't fly, they were on one of these little sky cycles. So that is cool to have that. And if I haven't shown us what the back of the box looks like. And again, this is one I don't know if I'll crack open. And honestly, I think the only reason I got this, all the others were gone. I mean, they had all those packs of the uh, Super Scroll 2 packs there when I was there on Monday. One of these was mixed in with that Super Scroll stuff. And that was the one that was left. All the ones that were sitting off to themselves were gone. But whoever stuck that, whatever Target employee put that thing in with those scroll two packs, thank you very much. I was able to get mine, I think, because of that. It was partially camouflaged. All right, my number one pickup from this video is one of these Avengers sets that I have had my eye on. And I've come close to paying retail for this baby you know, two or three times. But we got Thor and the Destroyer. Oh, the reason I wanted this thing so badly, I loved the Thor comics when I used to read comics back in the 90s. And the 90s Thor was that one right there. That, the beard and the mask on the helmet there. That's when the real Thor Odinson was banished uh, and Eric Masterson took over as being Thor while he was gone. And again, that's the Thor I was introduced to. I've got, I don't know how many issues of that book. Um, he went on to become Thunderstrike, another character when the real Thor returned. I've got every issue of the Thunderstrike series that was out. I just really enjoyed that character and glad to have this two-pack. I will be breaking this open. That Thor... We'll be standing somewhere on these shelves probably for every video you'll see me in moving forward. He's one of my all-time favorite Marvel characters. But, oh, so glad to get this one. They had like three of these still on the shelf. They had none of these left when I was in there today. So they are out of these as well for anybody trying to go to that Bristol, Virginia Target. But the only two that I wanted that I didn't get, just to keep rambling on here a little bit, uh, the, the Iron Man Mark, uh, Model 1, Mark 1, whatever they called it, the first, the gray suit Iron Man, I wanted to grab that. They had one of those left when I was there on Tuesday, but it was gone when I got there. If it did, if it did survive, make it to the clearance prices hit, it was already gone when I got there. And then the Captain Marvel Doctor Doom 2-pack. Um, I didn't really care much for the Captain Marvel figure. Um, I like Captain Marvel, don't get me wrong, but I really wanted that Doctor Doom because it was modeled after the Secret Wars version, that came, the figure that came out back in the 80s, and I loved that Doctor Doom Secret Wars figure back in the day. But again, the one I really wanted, the two that I, the two that I really, really wanted, didn't want to miss out on, I got those. That was these two. They're in the collection. They are secure, and they were half price. Now, with all that rambling and happiness said, wait and see. These suckers will be at Ollie's in a few months for probably $15 a piece or something like that. So, But if they are, that's fine. I'm, I'm cool with what I paid for them. All right, guys, that is it. That is the end of the week toy hunt. That is the toy haul. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope everyone has had a great week. Um, social media for the man collects. So Instagram is all I got outside of YouTube. 
If you look in the description of this video or on my about page on YouTube, you will find links to my Instagram. You'll also see information that should have been here or maybe here right now on the bottom of the screen kind of coming at you. Tell me where to go on Instagram to find The Man Collect, so be sure to follow me on there. And the most important social media, of course, is my YouTube channel. And if, again, if you are a first-time viewer to this content, you've come back several times and you just have not yet clicked subscribe. Consider clicking subscribe to The Man Collects and seeing what comes down the pipe here on the YouTube channel. I haven't talked about this very much in the last few videos because, you know, I don't want to have to ramble on about it forever, but... 1,000 subscriber giveaway. I am at like 960 subscribers, I think, by the time I'm recording this video. So we're 40 away from 1,000. Once I hit 1,000, we are going to give out information on a giveaway for that. I've announced two prizes so far. I'm going to pick up some more stuff. I was going to get it this weekend, but uh, I don't know if I'll get a hunt this weekend. My brother, older brother is moving. You know, He got a new job, so I'm going to be helping him move this weekend. I may not get to hunt. I'll try to get something out on Monday, but it may be a Lego review instead of a toy hunt this Monday. I don't know if I'll get to hunt. But anyways, the prizes you can win so far, I have announced. Nightfall Batman, he will be in the pool of prizes to choose from. And then, let me move some stuff around and get it. I should have been better prepared for this. Vampire Batman will also be one of the cho choices for the prizes for the giveaway. I'm going to pick up a couple of more. I want to get something Star Wars. I probably should have bought that two-pack that was on clearance today. Anyways, I want to get something Star Wars. I want to get a couple of wrestling figures. Some, just have some variety of stuff for whoever wins that giveaway to pick from. But again, keep staying tuned for more information on that. As I get closer to 1,000, we'll go over information on how to enter that giveaway and how to win. Uh, with all that being said, guys, that's all I've got. I've rambled on 15 minutes. I've made this too long. I'm sorry for that. Thank you for watching. Hope you had a great week. Have a great weekend. I'll see you back here in some way, shape, or form on Monday.